All right, welcome to Chapter 5, Season 2. Finally, after 19 hours of downtime, we can play. Now, some of you may be stuck in outrageous queues. I had to wait for almost 30 minutes. But here we go. I already did a full Battle Pass review. If you want to check that out, I'll link it down below. This video, we're covering the Medallions and the Mythics, among a few other map changes as well. There is a lot jam-packed in this season. I can't wait. So this screen right here actually tells you what all the medallions do. There's four bosses on the map. They're super strong, super fun. So it's Zeus, Cerberus, Hades, and Ares. Now I'm going to collect all the medallions, all the mythics, and I'm going to show you exactly what they do. They are super, super strong. So I got my son here. We are going to hop in a custom match and get everything. Like I said, here we go. So first of all, as you can see on the map, there are little Olympus towers where the bosses are. So we got the Underworld, which is Hades, Grim Gate, which is Cerberus, Mount Olympus, which is Zeus, and Brawler's Battleground, which is Ares. Me and Jack are heading to Hades first, the Underworld. So as you can see, there is a lot of green water on the map and this is not just any water it's actually amazing for mobility so anytime you touch the water you'll be granted three dashes so let me just prove that to you here i'm going to land right in the water and you can see i think they're little skulls that attach to you okay so here we go i'm just going to step in it and there they are you instantly get them how crazy is that so now if you double tap the jump button you go flying with a dash, and it grants immunity to fall damage as well. So that is insane. Anytime you touch the water, you get that. So that is one of the best mobility items in the game, and it's free. Everyone can get it right away. The only drawback is you can't dash three times in a row. I mean, you got to have a little leeway in between. So it's not like you can dash up three times in a row. There's a little pause between. And they stay, I think, forever. As long as you don't use them... You'll have them next to you. Way cool. So this is how you challenge the bosses. There's little statues of them. So they're not walking around on the map. You literally have to smash the statue. Then they summon something. Then you fight the boss. So let me grab at least one more weapon. So here's what happens. The animation's pretty sweet as well. Watch this. So you pick it up. You smash it on the ground. And then Jack appears right in front of you. He says, someone is eager to join me in my domain. Look at him sitting up there. So he spawned his little guard minions here. Let's see what they drop. That's a Harbinger SMG. That's the new one. Let's try that real quick. We're in build, so there's no overshield. Ooh, that shoots pretty fast. Of course, attachments are still on your weapons. So that's pretty cool. Look, he's, he's giving that one shield. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. That's pretty sweet. But now we have to fight him. He says, I guess I have to take matters into my own hands. Hey, uh, you want to get uh, attacked by his whip? No, I don't want to get hit by his whip. You got me instead. Here's the new assault rifle. Me. Ow, he's taking my health. <laughs> Your soul is mine. Oh, oh, wow. Let's get this guy out of here. I'll chuck a grenade at him. Oh, my. Oh, oh, my oh yeah, he's sticking our life, Dicky. What the heck? So you can see the ginormous Dude. health bar up top. There's his whip. <laughs> there he's dead. So okay, let me let me show the medallion and stuff and the weapon. I won't take them. You can have them, but let's see. So for Hades medallion, it's called the Aspect of Siphon, and it literally heals you upon getting enemy eliminations. Now, Jack tried this earlier against animals, it didn't work, and NPCs, it didn't work. And then he also drops the Harbinger SMG, you can see the attachments on it. Okay, I'll take this, you take the medallion. And let's, we gotta go quick though, because we're almost in the storm. Yeah, go to the next area. Do our quick dash. Oh, it kind of takes you zigzaggy there a little bit. You can also, oh, I just got the wings out oh, of the of chest. Course. Okay, I'll pop the med kit. So you, just unlock you? <laughs> so you can get the wings and you can get Zeus's lightning bolt out of chess, as you can see. Oh. And on the ground. And on the ground. So for the wings, let's see, you can fly with R2. Check this out. This is absolutely insane. And to ascend, you press X, at least on PS4, PS5, to dodge left, L1, dodge right. So this is actually really, really cool. Are we heading to Cerberus next? Yeah. Okay. Also, look by my name tag. 
What's by your like name? Like in too? the top left. Oh yeah, I see the medallion up there. That's kind of cool. So you can also dive bomb. You can see I'm about to go down, and it automatically takes you down. I took my hand off the controller. Once your power, I guess, or stamina runs out, it will drag you to the ground. You can still dive bomb if you want, right there. In your chest. Oh, let me see that real quick. Yeah, I'm coming. So the wings are amazing, is long story short. So how do you land? You just, oh, you just touched down, huh? So this new chest, what's in these new chests, Jackie? It's called an Olympus chest or an underworld chest. So that must have been an underworld one. There's the new assault rifle. And Jack can get a pair of wings too. Can I refresh it? Aw. Let's see. Uh -huh. I did it. Yes, it does refresh. Nice. Uh okay, let's fight oh, Cerberus real quick. Uh Boy, I love this. This is can so sweet. It? Where is he? Don't do it yet. Let me come down so I can at least see the animation. I'm finding myself. Okay, go ahead. So Cerberus spawns wolves. Let's try the new AR okay. here. Well, there is Requa. I mean, that shot right up when I did that. Where, where is he? You gotta kill okay. a lot of wolves to make him spawn yeah. in. My goodness, why more? Where are they? There. Oh, there they are. Here's the SMG. Alright. Should be one more, or maybe not. Nope, he's here. Oh, jeez, oh, right next to me. What the? <laughs> Texas Tornado? Wow, so that was easy. Okay, hold on a minute. So he drops the Gatekeeper Shotgun, and then his medallion is the Aspect of Agility. It says, travel through the spirit world, gain charges of underworld dash over time for quick bursts of mobility. Okay, so go ahead. Basically, what that does, it spawns these little skulls, just like going in the water. And it takes a few seconds to get each one. So, it's awesome, but the fact that you can get the same effect just by going in this green water, I don't know, I feel like they could have done a little more. When I first read it, I thought it was gonna be super OP, but it turns out the water is super OP. And here's the shotgun. So it says, a vicious shotgun created for service to guard the gates of Hades. It shoots three shells, watch this pretty fast, and then it reloads all three at once. So you can just hold the trigger, reload, pow, pow, pow. Pretty cool. So another new thing are these weapon bunkers. You can see they appear with these little gear marks. And let's see, there's a few of them. Actually, they're all over the place. So these are the new way to mod your weapons. You can also mod at Loot Island still, but these are the new ways. So they don't appear until Storm Circle 3, it looks like and then you can enter them. So let's go check one out. Which one do you want to go to? So another cool thing about the wings, just like the story of Icarus who flew too close to the sun and his wings melted, the longer you're in the air, you can see that countdown going down, it will literally melt your wings. And you can also boost with R2, but it takes a little bit more stamina, doesn't it? Like it goes faster when you yeah. boost? So you can see the wings are literally melting off right here. And then it's yeah, going to deploy you down. Yeah, it's so cool, though. And again, when you're being pulled down, you can dive bomb as long as you have some left. And you can see the mark on the ground where you're going to land. So really, really cool item. It's going to be super useful. I can't wait to see this in an actual fight. What is it? A scrying pool? What the heck does that mean? Hero, welcome. Oh, it's probably that stupid anime thing. I am still scrying your fate. Check back later. What does okay. that mean? Scrying. I don't know what that word means, Jackie. Hold on, let me Google How it real that, quick. Like, anime thing. Avatar? Like, I told you it wasn't an anime. I got yelled at that before when I mentioned that. I know. Let's I see. Correct myself. Scrying Jeez. is also referred to as seeing or peeping. Oh, it's fortune telling. Okay. It's Have a fun. It's a fortune telling thing, Jackie. Maybe you gotta throw something in there. Okay. Okay, well, that's interesting. I don't know what that is. Okay, so this is what the bunker looks like. That's pretty cool. Check some of them Pandora's box there. Let's go see what's inside it. Like I said, there's weapon mods all over. There's chests. There's the actual... Like all epic chest. Oh, look at all the gold. Holy crap. Wait, can you just break it? Oh, you can just break it in builds? That's crazy. 
I wonder if you can impulse and then deploy your wings. Let's try. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's going to be awesome for mobility. I mean, wings are already awesome to begin with. I love this. This season's awesome already. Right, Jackie? You know what? We haven't got yep. Zeus's lightning bolt. Did you find any of those yet? No, not yet. Okay, so you can get those out of normal chests. I think these or just on the ground. Or just on the ground, Jack says. I think these wings are my favorite part. Okay, so in the previous vaults, obviously there's no guards here anymore, and all the old vaults are automatically open. There's not as much loot as before, so you can see you can just waltz right in. There's a little bit of gold. Well, this one didn't even spawn any chests, but they can. And there's no more mod benches in here either. So also different are the bounty boards this season. I think there's four different ones. Let's take a look at what this one is. So this is what they look like. This is a shadow briefing bounty. And the weapon vending machines are back. So we got the malfunctioning one. I saw an SMG one. There's a shotgun one. So those are great. I'm hoping there's still mending machines because I didn't see one of those yet. So this red one, the shadow briefing, let's see what it does. This is a normal eliminate player. Now Jack had a blue one where he could spawn a supply drop. That was pretty sweet. Is the sewer still here? I don't know. Oh no, they took the sewer out. That stinks. It used to be right here. So this is another weapon omatic, and this sells the new Huntress DMR. Let's buy that real quick. So first of all, here's the thermal scope. Wow, recoil's still insane. That's a cool scope though. And controlling that recoil, ooh, that's gonna be tough. I think that's gonna be real cool on sniper rifles though. Look how Jack glows orange, that's what it looks like. Okay, so we're going to Mount Olympus for Zeus and Brawler's Battleground for Ares. Now, of note, I forgot to mention this. Obviously, Hazy Hillside down here completely removed. Also up here was Ritzy Riviera. So both those POIs got completely removed. Look at how nice this one looks, though, in the desert. This is crazy. There's Olympus with Ares up there, but we're going to the battlegrounds down here first. Flowberries are still in the game. Here's one of those special chests. This is the Olympus one. Uh, I got the wings. Nice. And a Harbinger SMG. Okay. Oh, one, Jack does have it. Two. Okay. I got two. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's try it. Here, you want splashes? Hang on. I need to go get the shotgun over here. So let me show you how this works. So you get three of them. And Don't waste them. it says, a weapon crafted for the king of the gods. Hurl a series of thunderbolts to smite your foes. So we'll do it against Ares. Are you ready, Jackie? Storm's coming, so we got to go yeah. quick. All right, I'm going to challenge I got another one. Sweet. Here we go. I don't know what it spawns here. Let's see. Okay, so let me show you the lightning bolts. These are minions. Okay, let me, sh let me get these guys, Jack. So it takes you up in the sky, and then boom, boom, and boom. But you're kind of a sitting duck there for a second. So just be careful because you'll probably get sniped. But once three chargers are up, it's game over. Wow, good range on the shotgun. That's not bad. Alright, here he comes. He's up here. Up where? Wait, he rifts in? Oh, man! Oh. Not hitting the last step. Who dares challenge me? Ares, the god of war. Hit him with the bibbity bop. You can't move when up here either. You can just aim where the lightning bolts go. But you can't move. I'm pretty sure when uh, you get hit with the lightning, you're like, you can like see a skeleton. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw a skeleton. Okay, let me see what he drops here. So his is the aspect of combat. Prepare for war. Imbues ranged weapons with increased damage. Okay, you can go ahead and grab that. And then he also drops the assault rifle. So this comes with what? Red eye, drum mag, speed, and muzzle brake. We'll try this out. As we fly over to Zeus. Okay, go ahead and do it. Haha, <laughs> we both smashed it. That's funny. So let's see what you have to destroy with He's Zeus. Got a spawn on his see? Oh, what? what? Does he do the lightning bolt too? Let's try this AR here. Yeah. Oh, this feels good. This feels real I would, nice. I would say be scared. Does he have multiple... Wait, he... Yeah, he does. He didn't die? I was gonna say, does he have multiple stages? What? He's invincible! Yeah. But do you, can you not read? It said it eliminated the minions. Oh, okay. 
No, you flies! No shoot him, no way stable. So he's invincible for a lot. We gotta do this quick. You gotta kill him three times though? I don't know. We're gonna die to a storm. Ugh! Watch out! Okay, he died, he died, he died. Let me make shit. So he drops the DMR. And run faster and jump higher. I'm grabbing this one. Let's go. We gotta go quick. Yeah. Run faster and jump higher. So I see the... Hold on, let's just fly real quick. We gotta get out of here before I die. So his comes with a sniper scope. Ooh. Speed mag, angled foregrip, and muzzle brake. So the recoil is not as bad. Okay, so when you sprint, you see you get the gold flash effect. It says you can jump higher, too. Wait, what's that siren? Do you see that? For the visualized audio, what is that? That's the bunker. Oh, where's it spawning at? So you can see you get this super cool jump effect. Oh, here's some more wings. So you can sprint faster and jump higher and farther. So that's a great medallion. I love that. So I like this mythic. Let's see if it prevents fall damage, though. So I'm at three health. I'm gonna jump off. Which one? Zeus. Yeah, I think. I'm gonna jump off this cliff. Here we go. Yeah. No fall damage. Wow. Okay, mending machine is confirmed to be here. Sells everything the same. the same. Yep. They're different? Oh, yeah. All right, let me try this. Hold on, let me try this. What? It did a oh hundred. Holy I smokes. Did. Let me do this. I did 131 he damage. He angered me. Look how much damage she did to me. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so here you go. These are all the mythics and medallions in the game. I know the wings technically aren't mythic. They're epic rarity, but everything else is mythic. But regardless, in level of easiness for the bosses, I'd say 100% Cerberus is the easiest boss to defeat because his minions are wolves. Then I would say Ares. And between Hades and Zeus, it's a toss up. I think Zeus is a little more tough because he's got two lives. And then Hades, he can drain your health. He spawns a lot of enemies and he uses his chain. Unfortunately, the chain is not a mythic just yet. It'll be a mythic later in the season. So this is all we've got right now. Now in terms of weapons, ooh. I'm really not sure which one's the best yet. I like the SMG and Ares Assault Rifle. Uh, I mean, Zeus's Huntress DMR is super, super powerful. 130 plus damage per hit. And then Cerberus Gatekeeper Shotgun. I thought this was good, but I feel like it's going to get outclassed versus the Frenzy. So we'll see. But if you get all four of these medallions, holy smokes, you're going to be unstoppable. With Siphon, increased damage at range, speed, and jump. And then the dash ability from Cerberus, wow. A skilled player with all four of these is pretty much unstoppable. I think the medallions are way better than last season. This is going to be absolutely epic. Hopefully none of this is too overpowered. I love the wings as well. This season is already starting off amazing. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Taper Time.